James is definitely a douchebag for all the reasons she pointed out. And I'm not defending him as Elo uh, said. And I thank you for saying that earlier because it's important for people to know that I hate everybody involved. Um, I want to go f- I want to go further into why he actually deserves what was coming to him. Um, and again, the most serious claims against James that I can tell, besides him being a douche or a bad friend or whatever, is that he seems to go after straight guys, aggressive bordering on predatory. Apparently, and you'll see this in a lot of his videos, he has a fetish for straight guys, which in itself is weird, because that's like... The the undertone undertext of that is is predatory in itself mm-hmm. because you're you're trying to convince somebody that by default is not interested in you. Yeah, it's got a very weird tone. Like like uh, you're not gonna be able to resist me, right? Kind of thing, which is weird. Well, it's also kind of rapey to be yeah, honest, because it's like I'm not gay. And that's the challenge. Especially when you add to the factors, the fact that he's famous. And right. if he does that to someone who's a fan of his, it's extra inappropriate. It's abuse of power, yeah. right? So here I've compiled a bunch of evidence. Um, let's go through it. Is James Charles a predator? Let's find out. These are all anecdotes of people, again. So the, the, valid- the validity has not been corroborated on most of these, but there's a lot of it. So it does paint a picture a uh, of, a per- of a person, right? When I met James Charles two years ago in a hotel room at Playlist, he was not only rude as fuck, but he was visibly trying to get one of his intoxicated straight friends to cuddle with him to the point where his friends had to say, James, fucking stop. Nothing has changed. You know... And you, you almost can get away with it, him, because it's like, oh, I'm just James Charles. I'm just fucking around. Mm-hmm. But if there's someone coming on, man or woman, coming on to you that so hard and aggressive and nonstop to the point where you have to physically push them off you and say, stop. Yeah. You know. That's too much. You know. Um, now, apparently, this guy actually has a picture of him in a hotel room with him then. So it is somewhat corroborated by evidence. But this kind of stuff isn't that hard to believe. Um Here's more. Let's continue. Do you mean receipts? Yeah, it had. Re- what? That's the other thing they say. They say with receipts. <laughs> Tea was spilled with receipts. These girls have their own language, man. It's fantastic. Uh, I never talked about it out of fear of him coming for me, but after the video Tati posted, I feel like it's finally time for people to know the shit he's been done throughout the years. All right, thank you, Anthony, for coming out. Very brave. Um, well, I think there was more to it. No, there was. That's it. That's all I have. Oh. Um, there's a next saga is flirting with married men. Let's see here. Oh, so he's just cold DMing dudes, by the way. This is freaking weird. He just DMs dudes on Twitter who follow him, I guess, who are like attractive straight guys. And he goes, he goes, oh, wow, you're so hot. And then the guy responds, obviously trying to make a point. My wife is so hot. (laughs) And he says, you could have just accepted the compliment. Ha 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 ha. Have a lovely day. Isn't that like the ultimate, like, uh... That's like the cat calling. Yeah, I'm just complicating. complicating Just accept the compliment. Yeah. Kind of douchey, right? Pretty douchey. Yeah, it's like the equivalent of a guy telling a girl you, you smile. could just smile. Yeah. <clears throat> he said, I take it more of a compliment when someone says nice things about my marriage and my wife, but thanks anyway. I guess this guy knew the uh, the score. Mm. Again, these are just a lot of little evidence. It gets worse. There's more serious accusations. Um, more to follow. Now, this one is very serious. Um, So this guy claims, he says, uh, he says that he was sent unsolicited nudes when he was 17 by James Charles. Hmm. There's no evidence other than this. Okay, so this is very, I mean, this is what pro Jared got moited for. 
Again, there's no hard proof, but he says, I don't have the screenshots. I wish I did. After taking, after talking for a little over a week, he sent unsolicited nudes and asked for them in return. I told him no, and he unadded me immediately. After that, it was clear what he wanted from me, and now I have him blocked on everything. That was him uh, having a conversation with one of these tea spill, tea series. T series. <laughs> Dude, hello. That should be my drama name. So again, I'm not it's just a lot of this. It's hard to know what's real and what's not, but it paints a picture. This guy says he went to high school with James Charles, and James Charles catfished the entire soccer team in high school pretending to be a girl so he could get dick pics. So glad to know he's still predatory. Um Apparently he pretended to be a young girl and was, I, I, I don't know, you're going to have to read between the lines there. <laughs> this is all the evidence though, I'm just trying to show you guys uh, everything we've got. So, so weird, so weird that they both, like him and Jared kind of had the same behavior going on, but. Well, Jared's. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Jer- Jared's way older, right? I mean, Jared's an old guy, and Jared's there's so much more proof. I mean, you got the dick pics. <laughs> I saw. I looked even more after we did our, that episode, and there's all so much weird stuff. Like, he had a secret sex blog called Sin Jared, oh. where he had his fans who he had kind of brought in on this world of his submitting nudes, uh, many of them underage. Oh my God. And he called them his little sins. <laughs> How that did that just kind of go by like nothing? James Charles swept the whole pro Jared thing under the rug. But pro Jared's done. I mean, that guy's fucking done, done, done. Tata said, Tata, Tati said Tata to pro Jared and James Charles. So he's always, he's known for always saying shit like this. Attractive straight boys will be the death of me. You know, he knows he's got a problem. He's trying to make a joke about it. Mm-hmm. Why can't you just fuck dudes who want to fuck you? You know what I mean? Why are you going after straight guys? Go after a guy that actually wants to be... What is so exciting to you about someone that doesn't... It's a power forbidden, thing. Yeah, it is, a po- it is totally a power thing. It's like there's a, like a sect of porn that people like cum shots where the girl looks like she hates it. <laughs> That's what this is. <laughs> You're, like, manipulating someone into doing something they don't want to do. Mm-hmm. James Charles. Let's continue. It's us. There's so much. I'm sorry, you guys, but I just got to show you everything there is so we can draw a co- real conclusion. I mean, I put so much work into this. You guys, come on. Kind of want to do a story time video about one uh, straight boy I've had some crazy experiences with without outing him, of course. Okay, whatever. Keep clicking. Next. Straight boys are the most confusing and deceiving people. You all stink. Bro, you said they're straight. <laughs> it's right there, man. Straight boys are confusing and deceiving. No. Straight boys. They don't want your dick, anyone's dick in anyone's mouth. Period. <laughs> straight. Fuck. I want a boy who is straight. <laughs> Love that for you. That's easy. Uh, straight. <laughs> I want a boy who is straight. He wants a boy who is straight. <laughs> Love that for you. That's um, easy. It's you, it's easier than you would think. True. Um, yeah. Well, have you ever hooked up with a guy before? No. You should try it sometime. <laughs> no, I can't. Um, then I, you told me that you have turned out straight guys. Elaborate on that because you are a famous celebrity and you do live <laughs> Thanks, in Jeff. you do live in Hollywood. Push. His emotions onto me to kind of guilt me into whatever. Okay, it's a running motif even before all this shit happened. Yeah. Um, stop doing that, obviously. Now I don't know why the f this one is so freaking blurry. Uh, when you're drunk, the truth. This so, but this was a part of a larger conversation. This one really rubbed me wrong. He says he's having an argument with some guy. I guess he was friends with. When you're drunk, the truth always comes out. So not always, but I just want to make sure we split on good terms. Charles says, James Charles, yes, always. You're not straight, no matter how many times you tell yourself. And I hope you figure that out sooner rather than later. And no, we didn't split on good terms. 
He's trying to convince this guy he's gay. You are not straight, no matter how many times you tell yourself. And I hope you figure that out sooner than later. Can you just fuck a, str- a gay dude? No. Man. Weird. Uh, Jeffrey Starr, by the way, uh, tweeted this and erased it. There's a reason that Nathan, that's his uh, boyfriend or husband, banned James from ever coming over to our home again. There's a reason why I haven't seen him since Glam Life Guru's birthday in February. He is a danger to society. Everything Tati said is 100% true. He's a danger to society. Right. That's pretty rough. <laughs> what the hell happened at the birthday party, Doug? <laughs> God damn. So clearly, anyway, even among his, uh, his cohorts, there's a... Um, I guess they know more than they're letting on. So, ultimately, it's hard to say exactly what James has done wrong, but he's clearly have a pattern of really poor behavior around straight men. And a really weird power trip, a really strange shit that he better stop and and, and examine what he's doing. Because, actually, if this goes unchecked for another, like, five or ten years, I mean, he's going to be, he's going to do some vile, vile things. He's going to Bill Cosby, some people. Exactly. Yeah. You get a cult, R. Kelly. Do you have your passports? Do you have your shots? Girl, I want to go to Jeffree Star's makeup party. Ooh. Mm. Lift me up, girl. Here we go. Wipe me. Mm. Do you have your foundation? Do you have your highlights? Boy, I want to convince some straight boys to suck my dick. <laughs> you suck my dick. Mm. Do you have your foundation? Do you have your mascara? Girl, I want to go to Jeffree Star's house and get banned. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't have much more than that. Thank you, guys. Thank you for setting me up. Ultimately, what, what, uh, what can you say about James Charles? I mean, yeah, the guy's a douche. He's young. He's successful. Wildly successful. Insanely successful. Um... Total douche. Now, what can we say about Tati, on the other hand? I would say she seems like an opportunistic snake oil salesman that threw her supposed son right under the bus. You know, she's full of contradictions. She's full of all this sweetness and niceness about, like, she made a new video called Why I Did It. Another 20-minute waste of life. And she starts crying like, I'm not the victim. Don't feel bad for me. If I could give back the subscribers, I could. Like, you know, (laughs) shut the fuck up. Delete the video then. (laughs) Delete the original video if you feel that bad about it. It's got 50 million views and counting. Such a phony. And she's using it to push her product, which is above the fold, which is snake oil to begin with. It seems to me that she's bitter, that he became so successful and catapulted past her and forgot about her, which is rude and inconsiderate, considering, you know, how instrumental she was. But that can happen. That can Mm -hmm. happen. So does that give you the right to just stomp on his fucking face publicly? I don't know. It worked out for you. But I just don't think that she's the saint that everyone's making her out to be. Yeah, exactly. That's all I'm saying. I mean, yeah, it doesn't paint a really great character on both of them. I agree. And, you know, that's contrary to the popular opinion because Mm -hmm. all I see is outpouring of love and support for Tati. And I want to say hashtag Tata to Tati. Damn. Got her. I went there. Time to spill the tea, bitches. Um, I say unsubscribe to both and subscribe to my (laughs) podcast, H3 Podcast, a.k.a. My Two Cents featuring Ethan and Ella Klein. But regardless of all of that, We have to appreciate how incredible it is that on the very same day we were talking about Pro Jared getting the (laughs) all-time sub loss on one day, that James Charles comes in two hours later and smashes it on ten times multiples. (laughs) 1.3 million in one day. Incredible, incredible stuff. Only, uh, uh, reality is stranger than fiction, by the way. Let me check the social blades of uh, Pro Jared and then James Charles, just for one last update before we move on. So, I mean, it's slowed down quite a bit for, for pro Jared, but 
<laughs> per capita, if you look at this like per capita, you're talking about like you know a full on twenty percent. Yeah, I actually I, I ran the numbers last night, and uh, he lost twenty one, roughly twenty one percent of. I his mean, mm-hmm. that is so. Yeah. That's in one week, man. And what about James Charles? James was nineteen, mm-hmm. so right around. Wow. wow. But Pro Jared per capita lost more subs. So there you go. So there's no bouncing back for Pro Jared. He's like, mm-hmm. bye bye. He's done. Sisters. James Charles, on the other hand, I was shocked. I was mortified to find out that his subs are in the green, like strong in the green. All of a sudden, on Thursday, he was having like a super strong day. And I didn't expect him to bounce back for a long time. So I I was I really weird. Yeah, I found it just so bizarre that he rebounded so strong just suddenly. You think he might be buying subs? Cheating the system? I don't know. That's a pretty that's a strong claim to make, but it is so suspicious that How easy is it to buy subscribers? Yeah, it's the easiest thing in the world. From what I understand, it's yeah, it's actually mm. pretty common. Yeah. I don't know how common it is among like big YouTube. I don't think big YouTubers buy subs. Yeah. Um, I don't think that's the thing that people do. I mean, it's easy to tell from the views if you have a real fan base. Right. Or not. If the, view- I mean, the views are not going to be there if it's fake. But <sighs> I don't know, man. Well, if he bought subs or not, it's still pretty shocking to see. Yeah. So there you have it. You can see it dip off like people sold the stock. <laughs> Straight up crash, stock market crash. <laughs> but apparently he's he'll be back on top and he's gonna pass. He's already ahead of Tata. I hope he make I was really hoping he'd make a video of slamming back on Tata, but he made some really shitty oh, apology yeah. video that was right. so bad and annoying. I guess we should watch that real fast. I think his apology video made everything worse too, because it was just like I can't even find his YouTube channel. Okay. He's so fucking annoying in his apology video. 50 Hi, million views. He takes so long. He takes such long Hi, pauses. All. James here. Um, Hi. I'm currently traveling abroad and James just woke here. up, but I wanted to sit down and make a video addressing all, everything that's going on right now. Um, because I owe everybody, I owe everybody an explanation. Um, but most importantly, I owe two important people um, an apology. To Tati and James Westbrook. This is a lot of it's his just videos. So just slow. <laughs> I'm sorry. For but then he goes on and talks about his mom. I guess he felt that anecdote that she gave about his mom, him talking inappropriately about her, mm. he felt was really fucked, but he didn't want to say that because he's trying to apologize. And I think his mom was really angry that she that mm. she used that against him. And he was he starts talking about his mom and crying and Especially shit. with the last situation that just happened. Um I've had to learn it the hard way. But coincidentally enough, Tati really was one of the people to sit me down and tell me how it looked from the outside. Um, in regards to my own mother. There you go. Well, I know you want to defend me and fight for me and go off on comments. But I ask that you don't you know you <laughs> problem that I got myself into <laughs> excuse me this. everybody apologies <laughs> um I love how he's telling his mom not to go off in a video it's like you know you could talk to her <laughs> seriously mom, and I just want to say mom don't go off on everybody please problem that I got myself into and this is my job to deal with this <laughs> no matter what is anybody is saying or commenting or talking about Mom, I need you to know. Here we go. Why it works. You're the most important person in my life. And that you're an amazing mother. I just don't know why he's ta- having to talk about his mom. And mm-hmm. you it's like, you guys all... You guys talk. You got a number. Yeah, presumably. Her, <laughs> his mom's gonna make an exposed video. <laughs> Spilling the tea on my own son. His his uh, metaphorical mom's buried him, and now his biological mom's about to... Put the tombstone on his grave.